uh, today I am going to take the second video lecture on the simple stresses strain, mainly the composite section and compound bars. So we are the second year students of civil engineering, third semester. Already have studied engineering mechanics in the static as well as the dynamic portions. Today, in the case of compound bars, so it is made up of two material and more than two materials. And if the load is applied on the given material, compound bars, the total load will be equal to the load taken by the steel section and also the load taken by the brass material. There are five materials. You get the, all the load individually, then you add totally, you will get the total load taken by the composite sections. So for example, I have taken the steel bar and the brass bar. Similarly, you can take any other three materials, steel, brass, and aluminum bar. Okay, the total load on the given material is capital P, right? So that is known to us, it will be known to us. Then in the case of the Young's modulus and Young's modulus of the brass and steel will be known to us, either 2 into 10 power pi, the MPA or 1.75 into 10 power MPA for brass. And also the diameter will be known to us, which is of 10 mm diameter for steel and 15 mm diameter for brass. But provided, the case of common bar, first we are seeing only the equal length of two bars or more bars. The second part will be of the load taken by the different length of the bars that we can see in the next class. Okay, so first we'll take the two lengths of the bars are equal. LS is equal to LB, the diameter is known to us, diameter is D1 and D2, for example, 10 mm and 15 mm. So from that, what you can get it is, what is the load taken by the individual material of the bar? For example, the steel PS and for the brass PB. So if you add these two, you will get the total load of, for example, I am taking 500 kN. For example, after working out, you will get PS is equal to 200 and PB is equal to 300. If you add 200 plus 300, you should get 500 kN. Right? So that is the checkpoint. So here, the corresponding notations PS, PB are the load taken by the steel bar as well as the load taken by the brass or any other material of the bar. Similarly, the, the corresponding stresses in the steel and brass is kept as Fs and Fb, which is an unknown, you have to find it. You have to find Fs and Fb, that is the very first step. How? By using this equation, P is equal to Ps plus Pb, that can be rewritten as, right, stress by x modulus, right, will be equal to the stress in brass by the x modulus of the brass, that is the, the strain of steel and the brass. So using these two conditions, what are the limitation or condition required for the compound section if the two bar or more bars are equal in length? These are the two conditions are required, right? The strain in one material is equal to the strain in the brass material or any other material. And the second equation is the total load will be equal to the summation of load taken by the steel as well as the brass material, okay? The second is epsilon S is equal to epsilon B. Strain in steel is equal to strain in brass. Even if you have five material or 10 material, all the strain will be equal. So e, epsilon one is equal to, epsilon two is equal to, up to epsilon S, right? So these are the two main conditions required for the compound bars of the equal length, okay? So from this equation number three, that is already I've told you, Fs by Es is equal to Fe by Eb, strain in steel is equal to strain in brass. So you can take it as Fs is nothing but load by area of the steel divided by Young's modulus. That will be equal to load by area of the corresponding brass or any other material divided by the Young's modulus of the brass. So from that you can calculate the load shared by the steel material in terms of load taken by the brass material, okay? So that can be substituted in the total, right, load equation number one, we can get the second unknown value of, right, PB. PB or PS, so we can get it as the first one. The other load material, you can take at the second one. Then, the 
Second one is how to find the change in length of individual length of the material that is delta Ls and delta Lb. That will be equal to delta L because equal length the total strain also will be equal. Epsilon S is equal to epsilon B is equal to the total epsilon. So if you are equating it, right, you know, delta S and delta LB you have to find. The basic equation for the strain is equal to delta L by L. I want delta L, so that is the multiplication of strain into the corresponding length of the material you can put. So I have used this condition. Get delta L is equal to epsilon S into LS. Right, already we have known the value of epsilon S. Right, from this value you can get it. Then delta LB, delta B into LB, that is the, right, the strain into the corresponding length, you can get the delta S and delta LB. Right, so from that you can take delta L is equal to the change in length of steel is equal to change in length of brass. Why? Because of equal length of the composite bars in the right material. Equal length or equal, that's why delta L S is equal to delta L B is equal to delta L. Otherwise, the change in length is different for two or more materials. What will happen? The stability of the slope will not be there. So it will the load will be right fell down. Failure will be taken place. So that is the condition where we are equating delta L B is equal to delta L S is equal to delta L. Right? So from this, again you can get the corresponding load shared by the individual material. Load taken by the steel is equal to, you know, you know the stress already have calculated, stress into the corresponding area of section of the steel. Then the load shared by the brass is equal to, right, the stress in the brass into the area of the brass. So area of the steel brass already known, Fs and Fb already have taken from the equations, so you get it, right. So from this, you can also calculate the modular ratio. So the modular ratio, I call it as M dash, that is the ratio of the Young's molars of steel to the Young's molars of brass here. Suppose I have given Young's molars of steel and Young's molars of copper and Young's molars of right aluminium. Right? You can get ES by EB, then ES by EC for copper, then ES by EA. EA is the for the aluminium material. So any ratio with respect to them, steel and the other material of the x molars, that is called as modular ratio. Suppose in the problem it is not given, so you can use this equation, okay, modular ratio. So sometimes they will give the mu value that is equal to 1 by m. You know the notation for mu is nothing but Poisson's ratio, so that is equal to, right, 1 by m, right, m is not a Poisson ratio, 1 by m is called as Poisson ratio or mu. So it is the ratio of lateral strain by linear strain that already we have right, found out the things in the simple stress and strain. Okay. So these are the uh, types of pro right problem we can do when the compound bar consists of right two bars of different material but of equal length. Right? Either you can find the stresses, load shared with individual material, right, and or change in length. There is delta L S, delta L B and Delta L. Suppose, so here instead of load is not given, it is an unknown, but the stresses in individual material is maximum limit is given, it should not exceed for steel, right, 250 MPA, and for brass should not exceed 150 MPA. So in that case, the stresses are known, right, you can get the individual material load, PS and PB, after that you can calculate the, the total load, the second type of problem. So if the total load is given, Right, the stress are not given, you can find the load shared by the individual material and the stresses. If the total load is not given, the corresponding, the maximum stress capacity is given, you can get the total load. That is the second typical problem you can see. Right? So that can be seen in the next class. Okay. Thank you very much for patient listening. Thank you.